Everybody don't see. Yo, what's up with it, everybody? This is your boy DJ Big Suede, and I am your host. Everybody gonna see a live podcast. And make sure at the end of this video, y'all give me a like or y'all share it if y'all like this video. Please do not mind. Do not. I do not mind if you guys share this video. So today we have a very special guest in the building, and she is a person that's been working in corporate America in many different fields, working with people and product management. And her name is Miss Johnson. So what's up, Miss Johnson? How you doing today? Hello, I am wonderful. How are you? Oh, I'm hanging in there like old clothes, mama. So <laughs> um, I guess today I just want to, you know, let people know how it is, you know, transitioning and reinventing and everything in corporate America. And, you know, I know you've been doing it for a long time. So just give the people a little bit about, you know, where you're from and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Well, I am currently in Texas uh, by way of St. Louis. I've been here about seven years. Best move I've made so far. Love it. Love it. And um, you mentioned corporate America. Yes. I've pretty much been in corporate America my entire career. I'm 50, by the way. So I've got a lot of experience under my belt. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. Um, by any chance, can you tell me what influenced you to pick a career to work in corporate America? To be honest, stability. Uh, okay. The benefits, I was a single mother for a number of years and needing those benefits and the stability of, of corporate America is what drew me there. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, hey, sounds good to me. I mean, that sounds like some good repable stuff for your kids to uh, look back and watch this video and be like, I had y'all and I worked my tail off to get to where I'm at. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, well, I just, you know, wanted to, see what type of experiences is like um like how's it been working in corporate america especially with this type of um pandemic going on in the world today i know you're probably working from home now uh, i'm not sure if that's what you've been doing or how you get around because i know at one point in time you were traveling like to mexico and all that kind of stuff just all over the place doing different things building up companies and stuff like that give me a little bit about that background Sure, sure. I did a lot of traveling, managing call centers, managing people and products, um, U.S., Mexico, Canada, Philippines, Costa Rica. And so remote working is something that I'm very familiar with. Yes, I am working from home now with the current company that I work for. And um, it's really not very big of a change for me. Uh, I no longer have direct reports, but I do understand how the challenge is in terms of making sure that you engage with your people, making sure that they are productive and those kinds of things. And that does become a challenge if you don't have previous experience with remote working. So I'm, I'm sure that lots of companies changing their business models to, to fit with what we're dealing with uh, now, the COVID pandemic. And so, um, yeah, I, I didn't have much of a transition in this aspect, but I realized that a lot of people do. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So um, is there anything other than what you're doing now where you want to actually reinvent yourself or take actions to reinvent yourself as far as um, residual income and all that since you are working at home? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, initially I mentioned managing people and managing uh, products. So gosh. about three years ago, I had an opportunity to branch out into the IT field. And so that's what I do now. Okay. And in terms of residual income, I am looking uh, towards changing my, my pay base, if you will, yeah, doing yeah, what yeah. I do today on a contractual basis, which now I am with the company and I am under the comfort of, you know, corporate America, but um, certainly moving forward, I'm looking into being able to monetize my skill set in the IT world. 
oh. and have that passive income as well as being able to contract out my work. So how is that going for you with the learning the new technology as far as monetizing your skills and stuff like that out there? Are you going to be doing like YouTube videos? You're going to do some type of ad website type thing? Like what is it that you're actually going to be doing? Because I'm giving you the freedom to promote that right now. <laughs> and thank you for that. So no, I really won't move into the video realm. Um, okay. I think that this is a great uh, platform that you have. And so I appreciate thank you me. allowing me to be here and kind of speak to your fan base today. Thank but that's you. not really where I'm more of a background person. I'm okay. a Leo and most people say, oh, Leos, they want all the attention. Not all of us. <laughs> um, no, no, no. So for me, it's more about being an IT architect, if you will. Oh, okay. What, Tell what me is what that? you want your website to do. Tell me what you would like to see future state for your business model, and let me digitize that for you. So oh. I like to think of myself as a creator. I will create whatever vision you have digitally to help move your company to the next level. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you're a forward thinker. That's what that's about. Okay. <laughs> well, those experience that you've learned working in the different fields and stuff that you were doing, that's how you came about with this thing, with the IT, because you ventured into that, huh? Well, like I was mentioning before, I had an opportunity where, let's say a company has an old legacy system from the 70s, 80s, and now they would like to upgrade and and use the technology that we have out here available to enhance their efficiency their productivity their customer experience so with my um opportunity that i mentioned well it was really going to be an interim role i had never done anything in the it world prior to this okay i started doing it um there, and there was very limited training let me let me say that so one of the things I pride myself on is being able to go and seek out the knowledge, apply the knowledge, and expand on the knowledge, right? Yes. And so I had to do a lot of self-teaching uh, okay. with the Oracle product. Some of your listeners or viewers may know about Oracle. And so once I started doing that, I said, hmm, this is quite challenging. You know, I can, I can manage people. I can manage products like the back of my hand. I, I can do it in my sleep, really. And so I, I was at a point about three years ago where I was kind of stagnant. I'm good at what I do, but you know, it's no real challenge. And so gotcha. once I had that opportunity to upgrade the systems to Oracle, I said, well, I don't think I'm going to get this job back. I'm sorry about that. The notification. It's okay. No problem. No problem. Um, <laughs> but so I thought to myself, now this is something that is really challenging. I love it. And I'm not going to give it back. And of course, HR was like, well, you know, it's an interim role. You, you will have to step back into your management position. And I said, no, I think you're going to need me full time. And guess what? They did. Didn't have an interview. <laughs> didn't post the job. Just would you like to step back into your role or would you like to keep this one? Because you were right. This is something that we need to have full time. And so that's what led me into this latest reinvention of myself. Got you. Well, that is mm -hmm. awesome. That's yeah, awesome. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, you're utilizing your knowledge and your leverage to be able to talk them and impress them and get them to give you the opportunities that you actually want to reach out for and make things happen for yourself. That is one thing a lot of people don't do. Um, they sit back and they just listen to what the bosses say versus telling the bosses, hey, check this out. Try me here. Why don't you utilize this? Mm -hmm. And then they think mm -hmm. about it. And if it works, it it works. And they have seen that in you. And that's how you doing the things that you're doing now. That is awesome, Miss Johnson. That's awesome. <laughs> so you um, know. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go go ahead. Go ahead. I was just pretty much. I get so chatty. I I do apologize. I get so chatty. But it's something exciting. I, I'm passionate about it, and so I tend to speak constantly. But uh, I just wanted to mention, you know, with this pandemic going on, 
Uh-huh. A lot of companies are changing their business models, right? Yeah. So if any of your listeners are looking to branch out, reinvent themselves and go into uh, IT world, understand that the knowledge out there, the resources available, I do not have a degree in information technology. Uh. I absolutely do not. And everything that I've learned thus far has been mentoring, has been uh, going out to these free websites that will show you how to code, show you how to read code. I mean, again, the, the resources are unlimited. So definitely listen, go for that. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Yeah, I need to do a little of that myself. Yeah, I can introduce <laughs> that stuff. Um, I'm just recently starting this podcast. It's, I'm 30 days in. Um, I'm pushing hard to it, and I'm starting to learn the monetization stuff, and I'm starting to learn how to do a few more things, you know, and it's it's not as difficult as I thought it was, and that's why I keep pushing for this, you know, to try to make this happen. I, I do in the future want this podcast to be bigger. Um, my challenges for it is for me to be able to do what I want you guys to do. And that's for somebody to be able to listen to someone's whole story without them completely cutting them off and making the show about them. For me, my show is pretty much about you guys. You are giving informative information. If people have certain careers that they're into and they're not happy in it, the knowledge that they've learned from that career that they're not happy, happy in it, um, it's not a bad thing because you could take some of the knowledge that you got from the job that you didn't really like mm-hmm. and utilize it somewhere else. And that's something that I'm working on. So I just want you to know, I do want to have you back on my show again. I really would appreciate oh. if you had accept that. Um, in the future, if you have anything that you want to promote or you want to market, you know, give me a shout and we would do an interview and I'll put everything in the descriptions, like contact information, web pages or whatever. And that'll help you guys out a lot too. I mean, I don't get paid for this. This is something that I want to do because I watch podcasts. So I'm just trying to reinvent myself and take the situation and try to give it to the people that really likes to watch the type of podcast that lets the people talk about what's really going on with them. And it's all about you guys. I like that approach. I like that approach because you're right. I, I actually watch a lot of podcasts. I'm very big on motivational speakers and things like that. And a lot of times that's exactly what you see. You have a guest and you're going, mm, can I hear from the guest? Do you, do you mind if I talk to the guest? <laughs> and so I do appreciate, I've watched a lot of your, your um, podcast also. And I like your format. I like Thank that you bring you. different backgrounds, different people, different topics, because you never know what someone might be interested in. Yeah, and I feel like the information that you all as guests give will like either motivate somebody to stay in their career or veer away from their career. But whatever it is that the people do, I advise everybody to take in everything and don't make it be a bad thing. Make sure that you take the knowledge from whatever it is you didn't like. And you can utilize that to something new or some other uh, career or aspect that you wanted to actually put in, you know. Um, Well, I guess we're going to finish this off. Uh, Miss Johnson, I really appreciate you coming to the show. I'm glad you actually literally told me that you watched my show because I already got like 26 followers. But you know what? that's enough for me as long you as you have I, to start somewhere right yeah, yeah as there long as go. i got you guys you know watching and being consistent with me you guys reach out to me and i'll do anything i can to help you guys to help build your guys' businesses or whatever it is you want to offer. all right guys well thank you for tuning in today this is your boy dj big sway your host everybody gonna see it live make sure y'all hit that like button make sure y'all hit that subscribe Don't forget to hit that bell so you can get all of the latest episodes and updates on my show. And I will see you guys next time. And God bless and be peaceful. Peace.